Iron Banner is back in Season of the Haunted and Lord Saladin, well, he's been busy and there are plenty of changes. We've got a new introduction quest loop focusing, remove power levels, plus Rift is back in the rotation. Well, today I'm going to run through how to complete the introduction quest, plus have a look at all of the changes coming to Iron Banner this season. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed. So subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, before we run through the details of the Iron Banner rework, let's check out the introduction quest and see what you have to do to get the most out of Iron Banner in Season of the Haunted. So go to the tower and have a chat with Lord Saladin. And remember, if you played before, Lord Saladin has moved from his old spot and he's now front and centre in the tower when you land in the courtyard. Well, let's have a look at how to complete that introduction quest. So step one, you want to complete a match in Iron Banner. This step is nice and simple. Open up the director, go to the Crucible tab and select Iron Banner and complete a match. Then we've got step two, so it's complete a daily challenge. So this is a new thing in Iron Banner this season. And for the first four days of each Iron Banner week, Guardian's going to unlock a new daily challenge. And these challenges unlock each day whether you complete them or not. So you can always log in on Friday and you can do them all in succession if you want to. So grab a daily challenge, jump back into Iron Banner and complete that challenge. Well next up we've got step three, so earn Iron Banner rank points. So you want to play some Iron Banner matches to earn rank points and winning matches is going to get you faster progress. If you've got any Iron Banner gear from previous seasons, I would say it's worth wearing it or using Iron Banner weapons as this is going to help you get points much, much faster. Well, next up we've got step four, so collect an Iron Banner Engram from Lord Saladin. So earning Iron Engrams while ranking up, and you can also unlock cosmetic rewards and materials for your time playing. So once you have an Iron Engram, you want to focus it on some Iron Banner loot, and then the next step is about wearing some Iron Banner armor. So if you haven't got any Iron Banner armor already, focus that Engram that you got, and you want to focus it into some Iron Banner armor. Well, next up we've got step five, so complete Iron Banner matches whilst wearing Iron Banner armor. So for this you have to have at least one piece of Iron Banner armor equipped, and each additional piece grants you extra progress. So put on your Iron Banner gear, complete matches, and then you've got one last step for the introduction quest. Finally we've got step six, it's an easy one, so speak to Lord Saladin in the tower, and then that's it, you finish the intro quest, and this only has to be done once per account, so thank you Bungie for that. And we all have to do the introduction quest even if you played Iron Banner before, so the best thing to do is get through it as quickly as possible. And then you don't have to worry about it again for the rest of the season. So for new players, this is going to be really useful to explain what Iron Banner is all about, so think of the new lights. Well that is it for the introduction quest, and now you are free to enjoy Iron Banner for the rest of the week. But as well as the quest, we've also got a lot of changes that have come to Iron Banner in Season 17. So first of all, we've got the event feel. So Iron Banner, it's got a facelift. So Lord Saladin, he's also changed positions. So when you load into the tower when Iron Banner is on, Lord Saladin is standing front and centre, basically where Eva Levante normally stands for seasonal events. So previously, Lord Saladin would be standing on the roof above Banshee 44, but now he's going to be the first NPC that you see when you land in the tower. Well, also the tower is going to be decorated for Iron Banner, and it's going to feel much more like a seasonal event, plus it's not going to overlap with other events, meaning Iron Banner is going to be the full focus for that week. And Iron Banner is also going to be less frequent than before, with only two Iron Banner events scheduled this season. Well, next up is an important one. The power level requirements have been removed. So previously, power level mattered in Iron Banner, and it's been like that since the original Destiny 1, so this is a huge change. But Bungie say that can be quite confusing for new players, so given the Iron Banner experience is very different to the regular Crucible. Bungie wants the mode to be more open to new players, and removing that power level is the first step to do that. Power level is still going to be active in Trials of Osiris, and that is going to be the main endgame PvP mode. Well, next up we've got Earning Rewards, so Iron Banner tokens have been removed completely and replaced by a similar ranking system likened to Saint-14 and Lord Shaxx. So you earn Iron Banner engrams whilst ranking up, and you can unlock cosmetic rewards and materials for your time playing. Basically, you want to rank up with Lord Saladin, and you'll get Iron Engrams as you go. But it's not just the reward track that's changing, Saladin is also getting a full focusing implementation, so players are going to be able to convert their Iron Engrams into any current Iron Banner weapon or armor set 
that has been earned previously. Although you will have to trade in that Iron Banner engram for a cost with a little bit of in-game material. Next up, let's have a look at Iron Banner Reputation. So here is how the revamped Iron Banner Reputation is going to work. So play matches, and with each match you're going to earn more towards your Iron Banner Reputation. Win matches to earn a small bonus based on your current Iron Banner rank. You can wear Iron Banner armor or just ornaments, that is really, really good, and equip Iron Banner weapons to max out your gear multiplier at 200%. So basically, wear as much Iron Banner armor and use as many Iron Banner weapons as possible to get that 200% bonus. Five total pieces must be equipped, although please remember that includes Iron Banner armor and Iron Banner ornaments. And also complete the daily Iron Banner challenges to tack on 100% to your challenge multiplier for the rest of the week. So completing those daily challenges gets you through that introduction quest, but also gives you 100% boost to your challenge multiplier. And then finally, you can use an Iron Banner emblem for an additional 10% emblem multiplier. So there's loads of ways there to gain more Iron Banner reputation. Well, next we've got the Iron Lord title. So there's a new Iron Banner title available in the Triumphs tab. If you played Iron Banner before, then you're likely going to have some progress on this already. And Bungie said about the new title to set expectations for the seal and the title. Iron Lord hopefuls can expect to spend around 15 to 20 hours to unlock this flair. Some of the most hardcore players can unlock it in a week. You know, if you're focused, but expect most players to need a second week, maybe even a second season, an intrepid Iron Lord will be able to guild their title in Season 18. Well, next up, we've got a return of a beloved game mode, and Rift is back. So Iron Banner used to be all about control, but now they're bringing in rotating playlists into Iron Banner. So we're going to start out in Season of the Haunted with Rift. So here are the rules of Rift if you are not familiar with it. So Rift is an objective-based crucible mode, that plays more like a game of football or rugby than it does with Clash. So teams of Guardians will attempt to take the spark from the middle of the map into the base of an enemy team and dunk it into the enemy rift. One dunk equals one point, and the first of five points are to have the upper hand by the 10 minute mark wins. So we've got some further rules here. So a spark appears in the center of the map a few seconds after the match starts or a point is scored and can be picked up by interacting with it for a couple of seconds. The spark itself is a buff that allows full weapon and ability usage aside from your super. For the first 5 seconds after picking up the spark, or a few seconds after taking damage, both teams receive a waypoint for the spark holder. Now after that, the waypoint only remains for the spark holder's own team. Marking the spark holder for your teammates is important. If you die while carrying the spark, it drops to the ground where you died. If you hold onto the spark too long, it detonates. Team resurrections are enabled in Rift, so make sure you help your teammates in the middle of a push or if you're playing defense. And there are no points for kills, just spark dunks, so playing the objective is key. When Rift is in Iron Banner, the hunt is on when your team has the spark. When the music intensifies, it's time to score. There's several ways to extend matches past the time limit. So first of all, we've got the continuation. So at the end of regular time, if the current spark holder could change the outcome of the match, either the game is tied or the current spark holder is down one point. The match continues until the spark holder drops the spark or scores. Then you've got the sudden death multi-spark. So if there's a tie after the time is up, the game enters a 90 second overtime where three sparks spawn in midfield. So who's going to be the first to score? That sounds like absolute chaos. After the sudden death timer is up, sparks stop dropping on death. Any sparks on the ground are removed. And as soon as the last spark is eliminated without a score, the match ends in a tie. Well, that is it for the rules of Rift. And also, that is it for the introduction quest for Iron Banner. Let me know what you think about Iron Banner and Season of the Haunted. Yeah, what do you think of the changes? And are you going to play Iron Banner more because of them? Well, that is it for this Iron Banner guide and how to complete the introduction quest in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, Check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again. I'll see you soon.